to the archaeological zone of Tulum, which is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from the hotel. You can find parking spot close to the entrance, and but then you have to take a bus or something for a couple more minutes, and that will leave you in front of the, where you buy the tickets. So I see you in archaeological zone. Bye. So we are driving to the archaeological well when i say we i mean the wife is driving yeah to i'm me. driving this time i mean yeah i'm in charge yeah. <laughs> so it is it's, it looks quiet i mean when i say quiet the traffic isn't that bad over here on, on tulum we kind of in the center of tulum right now uh yesterday driving from cancun to here uh it was a little bit hectic right when you exit the 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 airport but then uh, once you exit the airport is everything clear yes you find a couple spots but not that much and uh, they say it's 19 minutes from the place we stay uh, we'll see how that goes porque las tortugas están poniendo huevos. Las trae, ok. Ok. okay. La segunda es no hacer fila, visitar tu lugar. Es la única que tenemos. Welcome to yet another episode from MMGH Worldwide Travels. Today we are in the archaeological site of Tulum. He's telling you basically you can't you can't you you can't go any further. That's it. You can't go any further. Yeah, and I, I actually I almost had to run over them because they were just all in front of the car and they didn't let the car go through and it was just hard. And when you. we finally get to the parking lot, they were trying to sell me a ticket for thirty five dollars. I'm not sure how much is over here, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, with that said. Because the lines over here go miles and miles. 
And as we can see, that is not the line. Okay, we'll keep you posted once we get to the uh, ruins. coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, it is a place of undeniable allure. While the pristine beaches and the turquoise waters of the Caribbean Sea undoubtedly draw travelers in, it's the ancient ruins of Tulum that provide a unique and enchanting glimpse into the region's rich history. In this episode, we'll embark on a journey through time to uncover the mysteries and beauty of the Toulon's ruins. You see him moving? Hello. Hello, dear friend. Yeah, hello. Dear friend! <laughs> <laughs> ah! so this is gonna go into a little cave. Gee. The Tulum ruins are a testament to the ancient Mayan civilization which once thrived in these areas. These well-preserved ruins date back to the 13th century, making them some of the youngest among Mayan archaeological sites. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's fast! <laughs> on the top cliffs overlooking the sea, the ruins are formed by a lush tropical jungle offering a surreal blend of nature and history. The most iconic structure within Tulum archaeological zone is El Castillo, a towering pyramid-like temple. El Castillo was likely used for religious ceremonies and as a lighthouse to guide the Mayan traders navigating the coastlines. Its location perched above the Caribbean Sea provides a stunning backdrop that photographers and history enthusiasts alike cannot resist. Palaces to watchtowers and walls. Each of these structures exhibit the Mayans' impeccable archaeological skills. The intricate carving, celestial alignments, and strategic layouts of this building continue to captivate visitors. Tulum was strategically positioned to serve as a maritime trading hub, connecting the Maya civilizations with the broader Mesoamerican world. The surrounding defensive walls and watchtowers are a testament to the city's significance as a coastal stronghold. One of the unique features of Tulum's ruins is the proximity to the beach. After exploring the archaeological zone, visitors can descend the cliffs to reach the soft sandy shores below. This offers a refreshing opportunity to cool off in the Caribbean waters and admire the ruins from a different perspective. Tulum ruins are a captivating blend of history, nature and culture. If you're coming here, make sure you bring water and a hat and sunblock because it's actually pretty hot. And I would say uh, tennis shoes because you're gonna be walking a, a lot, a lot. But it has been very interesting. It was very helpful to see videos on YouTube. <laughs> uh, you never uh, cross these lines because they start, they start seeing, they go crazy if you just cross right here we see some people's i mean just getting in the rings and uh, they start whistling police come over and it was no fun so yeah just make sure you respect 
I mean, it's, it's very important. Very important to respect the rules. They transport visitors back in time to an era when the Maya civilization flourished along the Caribbean coast. Whether you are an archaeology enthusiast, a history buff, or simply a traveler seeking a unique experience, Tulum Ruins offer an enchanting journey through Mexico's past. As you explore these ancient relics perched on the edge of the Tokyo Sea, you'll find yourself memorized by the enigmatic beauty of Tulum. The archaeological place, uh, it was okay. It's just the, uh, the hustling and bustling of the uh, folks to work there. And I understand people trying to make a buck here and there, but uh, it becomes a little frustrated at times. She is desperate to get in the water. I don't know why, but I can tell you I'm definitely going to get in here and take a dip. Yaxkin Cenote also known as Cenote Yaxkin, remains relatively off the beaten path, making it a tranquil escape from the bustling tourist area. Located near the village of Kasuma in the Yucatan state, this Cenote is part of a network of underground rivers and caves that thread their way through the region. To reach Yaxkin Cenote, you embark on a unique adventure. Visitors often hire horse-drawn carts known as trucks to transport them to the lush jungles to the Cenotes entrance. Since we had a rental, we decided to drive to the Cenote. This picturesque ride takes you along a narrow railway track, creating a sense of anticipation as you drove closer to the natural wonder that awaits. Upon arriving at the Cenotes entrance, you're descending into the underground world. Yaskin Cenote opens up like a cathedral with a stunning cavern adorned with sunlight streaming down through, opening in the cave ceiling, casting a glow over the crystal clear waters below. Swimming in the Cenotes cool Tokyo's waters is a mesmerizing experience. Yaskin death varies, making it suitable for both experienced swimmers and those who simply want to float a marvel at the natural beauty surrounding them. The water is refreshing and the Cenotes death allow for an underwater perspective of its fascinating formation. Like many Cenotes in the Yucatan, Yaskin has deep cultural and spiritual significance for the Mayan people. The words Yaskin translate to first sun, referring to the Mayan sun god. The Cenotes connection to their belief makes it a place of reverence and ritual. Yaskin Cenote is a hidden oasis that invites travelers to delve into the heart of the Yucatan Peninsula's enchanting jungle. Its mystical beauty, combined with its cultural significance, creates a unique and unforgettable experience. Whether you are an adventurer, a nature lover, or a seeker of spiritual connection, Yaskin Cenote offers a magical journey into the depths of Mexico's natural and cultural heritage. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in the beauty of the Cenote and the rich history of the Mayan people who have cherished it for generations. We hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. Please support our channel by subscribing. Thank you all for watching.
and as always, safe travels. Thank you.